Hi, I'm Susie from the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation. Well, it's blueberry season and today we'll be using these big, juicy Eureka blueberries to create a delicious recipe, blueberry buckle. From the 4th to the 31st of October, 2023, 10 cents from the purchase of every Eureka blueberries 200 gram pack sold will be donated to the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation to the maximum of $100,000, which is just Amazing. Stephanie, I'm so excited about this blueberry buckle recipe. Can you show us how to make it? I certainly can, Thank Susie. You. So the first thing is to prepare your tin. I'm using a 20 centimeter springform tin with some soft, really soft butter and be quite generous with my buttering of my tin. And then I have cut a piece of baking paper, the same size as the bottom. Okay, so that's a tin prepared and waiting. The next thing I'm going to do is zest the lemon. That's probably a generous two teaspoonfuls, but it will be fine. The next thing I'm going to do is take my pack of berries and tip it into a bowl with a very small amount of flour. And that stops the berries clumping at the bottom of the cake. So they're ready to go. So I've got flour here and I've already added a pinch of salt and I'm going to add one and a half teaspoonfuls of baking powder. This provides the rising in the cake and I always swizzle that just with my fingers to make sure you're not getting a lump of baking powder. Now because this cake has this lovely crunchy topping, we're going to make it first. I've got cinnamon, four tablespoons of soft brown sugar, and a little bit of flour. Now the reason you need the cold butter is because you want this to be clumpy. You don't want it to be completely combined. Just lightly toss and then scrunch the bits of butter. You do want it to be sort of a, a lumpy mixture to scatter on the cake. Okay, that's getting to be what I would call the right texture. So we'll just leave that now. Okay, in here we're going to go with the sugar, soft butter this time, not cold butter and one egg. So away we go. And I'm now going to take it off the beater and bring the mixing bowl back to the front so you can see the next stage. Okay, so I've now creamed my egg and sugar and I'm going to add some lemon zest. We now have flour mixed with salt and baking powder and I've given it a whiz with my fingers and we have some milk and both of those are going to get incorporated into this egg mixture. So I'll put in one third of the flour, a little of the milk, most of the flour, I'll leave a little bit for the end, all of the milk. And then with the last bit of flour I'm going to also add my berries. They need to be mixed through thoroughly but we're trying not to over mix. Now I'm going to put the batter into our buttered and papered tin. And then the final step is to strew the streusel all over the top, right to the edges. And then into the oven set at 180 or 160 in a fan forced oven for, I'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes. It may take an extra five to 10 minutes. Okay, let's see what's inside. So that's the complete blueberry buckle cake and it really deserves the very best cream. Very happy with that. I hope you all are too. Well, Stephanie, this looks absolutely delightful. Next time you're at Coles, pick up a pack of Eureka blueberries so you can try this delicious dessert at home and support the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation so that kids around Australia can enjoy the wonder of growing, harvesting, preparing and sharing.